Today we are meeting with the star of the car market, the Peugeot 2008, taking a whole new dimension in 2023. Since its launch in 2019, almost 700,000 units were produced. So why the success? First, thanks to its design, both for line and powerful, this 2008 has an incredible allure. Also, it's in the brand's DNA to offer a trade-off in between comfort and road handling, thanks to the Peugeot i-Cockpit. And I actually tried it when it was launched, and I can tell you that you have a real sensation of pleasure when driving it. And that is Peugeot all over. If we now talk about electrification, the E2008 pioneered its segment in 2019. So much so that the E2008 makes the podium of the European sales of the electric SUVs in its segment. Let's now talk about the evolutions of this new generation of 2008 with the product manager. Hello Marion. Hello Sandy. So we never change a winning team. We haven't changed it, but it has been reinforced for this new version. Yes, you're right. We worked on the three pillars of the Peugeot brand. The first is Allure. So we continue the, to reinforce the SUV design of the 2008. We adopt the new three close concept signature, which is the new Peugeot uh, lighting signature. So that's for the Allure. What about the Emotion? Emotion with the new Peugeot I cockpit for a more enjoyable drive also. So if I count correctly, we have Allure, Emotion, and now we're going to talk about the third pillar, the excellence. Yes, you're right, Sandy, excellent. For the excellence, we have a new connectivity and we also offer a new fully electric powertrain, which is more performant because of new powerful battery, but also efficient. And now the new 2008 is able to reach 406 kilometers compared to the 345 we had previously. Very good. Well, that's it for the little overview. Let's now go deep inside the design of this new 2008 and meet with Pierre-Paul. Hello, Pierre-Paul. Hi, Cindy. Well, this new 2008 is clearly a Peugeot. Indeed, this uh, new 2008 uh, integrates all the new aesthetic codes uh, of the brand. Uh, it was for sure part of the design brief and the design intention. It starts by uh, those quite impressive clothes that we have introduced in the, in the recent new 508. By the past, we used to, to develop uh, this uh, DNA on the rear uh, for cars. On the front, it's quite new. It will be uh, one of the markers of the, the new Peugeot uh, generation. What is significant on the 2008 is that uh, we will have this signature for all the levels. It's not only dedicated to the, to the upper versions. It was important for us uh, to do that, uh, to, to translate the upmarket move uh, of this car. For the GT version, we will have a specification in the headlamps, the headlamp by night, uh, when we will introduce for the first time uh, at Peugeot, uh, the three cloves in the low beam uh, function. So we split the low beam function in three to recreate those three cloves that will be an answer to the cloves that we have in the bumper that will give to the GT version a very specific and unique signature by night. Moreover, the lighting signature is the whole front end that has changed. We have quite reinvented the way we design the front of the car to, to give more stance, to reinforce the SUV feeling. The front grille is wider than it was before. We integrate those vertical uh, trim pattern, a little bit smoky that come in continuity, give a, a verticality perception, which is quite interesting for us in terms of SUV feeling. But the main point is the fact that we introduce the body color in the, in the, in the front grille. Starting from the earlier version, uh, it gives a lot of modernity and it also reinforces the, the global uh, strength because everything is in the same volume, in fact. And we actually get a glimpse of the new Peugeot coat of arm. This coat of arm is now the symbol of the brand, the modernity. Uh, and as well, we will uh, decline this modernity in all the lettering using a new uh, typography, a lighter, more modern uh, to sign the car. Okay, let's now go at the back of the car, because I have the impression this version is actually wider. It's just an impression, a visual effect, because the dimensions of the car have never changed at all. 
is due to the new design of the real lamps because it's a new interpretation of the clothes. We are not in a vertical configuration anymore, an horizontal, uh, horizontal one split in two with those very uh, thin and technological elements. We improve this effect with the sandal lettering that now uh, extends uh, across the entire width of the car. So when you combine all those elements, it's true that the global stance of the car seems wider even if the dimensions are the same. Okay, let's now jump inside the car. So Pierre-Paul, tell me how you worked on the interior of this car. New 2008 obviously keeps its very specific high cockpit mm -hmm. uh, dedicated to ergonomics and driving pleasure. Uh, but we have improved this high cockpit, uh, integrating a new digital 10 inches mm -hmm. cluster for the Allure version to allow the, the, the driver to choose the configuration regarding uh, his preferences. For the GT version, uh, we had the 3D uh, uh, effect. Talking about the digital displays, I have the impression that the central screen of the eye cockpit is much bigger. It is uh, for all the 2008, we have replaced the um, 7 inches uh, central uh, screen by uh, a 10 inches uh, okay. version mm -hmm. with a big, better visibility, uh, a better fluidity. Uh, to improve all the all the comments and to use it as a smartphone. This center screen is a huge improvement in terms of global quality uh, on the 2008. I asked Marion to join us to talk about the new generation of connected systems. So Marion, what about those new connected systems? From Hallure Trim Level now we have the Peugeot iConnect which is standard. Mm -hmm. It offers full connectivity with Apple CarPlay or Android Auto mirroring. We have the new smartphone uh, charger, which is more powerful with 15 watts instead of five, mm -hmm. and it's still super practical. I love it. <laughs> and what is new also is that on all levels of the car, we can have access to the Peugeot iConnect Advanced, which have a Peugeot Connect navigation with TomTom -tom system. Mm -hmm. It can be updated over the air, and you can also drive the system with the OK Peugeot. Ah, I've always dreamt to talk to my car. OK, Peugeot, take me to the ocean. The Peugeot E2008 is the most selling all-electric on his segment in Europe. I guess that that must have been a big challenge for you. You're right, Sandy. But I think we have risen up to the challenge as we have managed to build the E2008 that is both more powerful and more efficient. So electrified, that means electric and hybrid. That's true. Indeed, it can be electric or hybrid also. Alongside the new E2008, for example, we will be offering a 2008 with the new Peugeot Hybrid 48 volt engine from the beginning of 2024. It allows a saving of consumption up to 15%. Mm -hmm. And in urban areas, you can even drive in zero emission electric mode, a half percent of your time. This new 2008 will therefore present a new face and adopt the new generation of the brand's logo. It's technically enhanced and includes a new generation of screen and onboard connectivity. And to top it all, it's more powerful and more efficient, especially in the electric version. Full green light for the second generation to continue the success story of the Peugeot 2008. Thank you for watching this video and see you very soon to try it. Bye-bye.